Well, that's both rods out on the spots for the first time in the new season, and I'm even more excited than normal because it's the first time I've actually managed to get the rods out since the lockdown of COVID-19. I don't know how long I'm going to do, but that doesn't really matter because the rods are out and all is right in the world, even if it is just for this short little period of time. just gone seven o'clock and I'm finally in the shade. It's been a real scorch today, so in all honesty, I didn't really expect too much, so I even treated myself to a little siesta halfway through. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy, pretty confident. Just redone the rods, put a little bit more bait out ready for the night. I've just got to hope that they're in the mood to get their heads down during the night or early hours tomorrow morning. That's when I'm really sort of expecting to get a bite. So. I'm going to put the kettle on for the first time for the day as well and yeah, I'll keep you updated. Well, a very pleasant surprise. Just filming the sunset, sorting out a couple of pictures from the day. I get a real little twitchy bite. The first carp of the season, 19 and a half pound. I'm absolutely over the moon. Fingers crossed, he's not the only one. Well, it's been a very, very testing night, to say the least. Uh, had another bite, just about an hour before first light. Really happy with it, up a double, left it in the net, thought, right, I'll give it a bit of time, set an alarm. So I got up at first light so I could do the pictures, woke up to my phone alarm, and my, I hadn't secured my net in place properly. So, rookie mistake, but it was, like I said, an upper double, one that I recognise that I know I've had before. Would have been nice to add some proper pictures and footage of it, but not the end of the world. Um, once I got up, put my shoes on properly, and wound both rods in, rechucked them with fresh hook baits on, and topped up the spots. And then an hour later, the left hand rod has just absolutely buckled round. I mean, like this fish was going. I'm fishing locked up, but this fish was just absolutely motoring, and uh, I just played it too hard I managed to get it away from what I thought were the snags and stuff and managed to get it into the open water and for whatever reason I just carried on playing it too far too hard and of all the places the hook link went so I've never had that before so I'm a little bit wounded and now I'm not too sure whether or not I'm gonna get another chance it caused a lot of disturbance um, time is 8.32 I'm still in two minds about whether or not to do tonight or not I'm just going to have to play it by ear and see how the next couple of hours play out I'm hoping hoping that I'll get another chance
one absolute palaver that was. I didn't expect to get a bite so early. It was about five o'clock I managed to get the bite. Uh, I was just having myself a little kip because I'd had quite a late night. And uh, yeah, another absolute scorcher today. And I managed to cool off a little bit because the bite caught me that off guard. Whilst faffing about trying to put my camera on, I end up in the drink. Uh, I did manage to land it and in the end it actually only ended up being in like a low double um, but it absolutely scraps it's made me feel a little bit better about the one I lost earlier on it's a sort of similar type of fight um, I'm gonna do another night um, I've got the time and I've got a couple of spots going the fish are still active they're still here so there is every chance of another bite um, yeah it's now quarter seven I did manage a bite at about half seven yesterday um, I don't know with all the commotion whether or not there is going to be that chance today but things are crossed it'd be really nice to get a 20 pounder I don't think that's too much to ask I said I wanted a 20 pounder, uh, just over 23 pounds, 23 pound two. It didn't take much longer after that last little update. Fight number five, one of the lumpies. There's three of these in the lake. One of the little characters, very, very distinctive, the lumps on this side. I've still got the night head and I'm feeling very confident. The decision to stay the extra night has definitely paid off. Since catching Lumpy, I've actually managed another six bites. The first of the six bites actually happened in the early hours. It was one that I do actually really want to catch in the form of the wood carving. I've got some old pictures of it, and it looks absolutely mega in there, so I'd love to get some proper footage of it. But I knew that the likelihood of doing that in the dark was going to be pretty much nil. So rather than stressing the fish out and stressing myself out, I decided just to want to get in the net and slip it back. I'm sure across the course of the season, at some point, our path will cross again. The next bite came at first light, and that resulted in a 24 pound mirror. It was shortly backed up by a brace of commons. I do really love the commons in this lake, just purely because they're all so different. Some have got real melted fins, and some are all crusty and old. The colours are they're just jet black. They're just art, oh, awesome carp. After slipping the two commons back, I actually got a message off one of the other syndicate members who had been fortunate enough to catch one of the real A team in the form of Cluster, and he asked if I wouldn't mind going around and taking a few photos for him. As you can tell, it is an epic carp, and it's right up there on the A team list, and it's one that I'm really hoping at some point to have at the bottom of my landing net. Once back in my swim, I decided just to fish with a one rod. The vast majority of the bites come onto that one rod, and rather than having another line in the water or potentially something that's getting, going to get in the way, it just seemed like the best option. And also, I'm right down to like the bare bones of my tackle now. I've run out of chod hooks and I've run out of leads. Um, so, yeah, I don't really have much choice in that matter. And also, the bites have become so savage that it just seemed the right sensible move. I have managed another two bites. One of them unfortunately did fall off, but the other one's a cracking little common. 
For my first session back, I really can't grumble. 11 takes for nine carp. It's gone fast past what I could possibly expect to catch. I'm now absolutely buzzing for the rest of the season and I can't wait to get back down here very soon.